his mind uh, is rid of the five hindrances. Uh, he can see clearly. Uh, and when he listens to the Dhamma, uh, he can understand clearly. Uh, and he gains a reflective acceptance uh, of the Buddha's Dhamma. That will give him right view. Uh, and once a person again gains right view, uh, he becomes an Arya, the first stage Arya, the uh, first path. La. This per, first path la, can also be called stream entry. La. Uh, you enter into the stream of the Aryans. So that is prerogation of view, la, uh, to attain right view. La. Now in the Majjhima Nikaya Sutta 43, uh, it is stated uh, that to attain right view, there are two conditions. La. One is the voice of another. In other words, listening to the Dhamma from somebody else. And the second condition uh, is thorough uh, um, uh, attention or uh, proper attention or careful attention. Uh, so when you listen to the Dhamma and you're paying proper attention uh, and your mind is clear enough, uh, then you can understand the Dhamma. Uh, and when you get, gain a reflective acceptance of the Dhamma, then you have attained... Uh, right view, uh, which uh, here is called purification of view. Uh, so, uh, so, but when a person enters the stream, uh, he, he becomes a first path attainer. Uh, he has not got rid of any factors yet. Uh, a sotapanna, the first fruit, uh, Arya, he has got rid of three lower factors. Uh, uh, what are the three? One is... Uh, uh, Attachment to rules and rituals, la. sila bata paramasa. Another one is doubt, la. Uh, getting rid of doubt. Uh, doubt means uh, doubt about the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. And what is the other one? Uh, uh, the three factors. Uh, uh, identity view, Sakaya Diti. Uh, identity view uh, is uh, identifying yourself uh, with the uh, body and mind. Uh, uh, so you 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 think that the body and mind is you or yours. Uh, so uh, when a person uh, uh, gets rid of this uh, identity view, uh, then he understands uh, that the body and the mind are impermanent. So it is not I or mine. Uh, so, uh, that is the Sotapanna. Lah. It's got rid of the three factors. But, as I mentioned just now, uh, when you have purification of you, uh, you attain the first path. That is still not yet Sotapanna, just the path of the fruit. Lah. But purification of you uh, will bring you to purification by overcoming doubt. Uh, this overcoming doubt uh, should be the doubt, uh, just as I mentioned, uh, the, one of the three factors uh, eliminated by the Sotapanna. Lah. Uh, which is doubt about the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, la, not having thorough faith la, or thorough confidence or trust la, in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. La. So, after a person attains uh, right view la, or purification of view, la, then he overcomes doubt. La. He has no more doubt about the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. And that will bring him to this uh, Sutapanna stage, la, the first fruit, la, Arya. La. And uh, purification by overcoming doubt uh, will bring that person uh, to purification by knowledge and vision of what is the path and what is not the path. Uh, so this uh, person has become uh, Sotapanna, then he sees uh, uh, very clearly uh, uh, what is the path, what is not the path. Uh, he understands the Dhamma already. Uh, and uh, after this, uh, he will bring him to uh, purification by knowledge and vision of the way. Uh, purification by knowledge and vision of the way. Because this person has become an Arya. He's practicing the way or the path. Uh, so he um, he has this knowledge and vision of the way, uh, the path, uh, how to practice. Uh, because he's practicing that path uh, or the way, uh, the noble eightfold path. Uh, and that will bring him to purification by knowledge and vision. This purification by knowledge and vision, uh, that means he attains knowledge and vision. But it is mentioned earlier uh, that this all these seven stages uh, is still not final Nibbana, uh, which means uh, this uh, seventh purification, uh, knowledge and vision, uh, 
is the various Aryan stages, uh, short of the Arahan, uh, short of the fourth fruit. Uh. Uh, so this person he has, has attained knowledge and vision. Uh, he's either a uh, Sotapanna or a second uh, path attainer or second fruit attainer or third path attainer, third fruit attainer or fourth path attainer. Uh. So that will finally bring him to final Nibbana. Uh. So these are the seven purifications. Uh. Uh, that brings one to final Nibbana. Uh, so when you look into the Visuddhi Maga, you find uh, these, uh, these seven purifications are elaborated uh, and a lot of things they introduce. Uh, uh, but since it is not the Buddha's teachings, uh, there's no, uh, no need to waste our time uh, over them. Because in the... Uh, I always like to mention the Diga Nikaya Sutta number 29. Pasadika Sutta. Inside that Sutta, the Buddha has stated uh, that his Dhamma, his teachings uh, are utterly perfect, pure and complete. And the Buddha says, uh, if you think uh, you want to subtract some of his teachings, uh, you think some of his teachings are superfluous, uh, not necessary, uh, then the Buddha says you don't understand the Dhamma. The Buddha's Dhamma is, 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 is perfect, concise uh, uh, and uh, pith, uh, the, the uh, everything in it is, is, is valuable. And the Buddha also says uh, that if you think you want to add to his teachings, uh, you also don't understand the Dhamma at all. Uh, so nowadays, uh, you find a lot of monks uh, referring to other books uh, other than the, the Buddha's Dhamma. Books like the Visuddhi Maga, the Abhidhamma, which, uh, which was written much later, and uh, commentaries and all that. Uh. So you can take it from, from Diga Nikaya Sutta 29. Uh, you can take it from the Buddha himself. Uh, that all those monks who refer to all these later books, uh, they don't understand the Dhamma. It's not what I say, it's what the Buddha says. Uh, 